遇等，全球在海洋经济领域开启了大国共赢合作的新格局。尊敬的各位来宾，亲爱的朋友们，大家下午好。Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to this event. It is a great honor for us to participate in this event and come up to the plenary session. Coming up this is right, the one is to increase the threat to the maritime security. I'm from the Shenzhen TV station and I'm the Jiaqi. Welcome to the International Cooperation and Development Forum on Marine Economy 2020, and welcome to join us to the section of Stepping Up the Global Fight Against Man-Made Marine Pollution. 那我们大家都知道啊，其实本身海洋污染就在我们的。We know that the pollution in the maritime is a very tricky problem for us, and it has confronted the whole world with a pressing challenge. And with the impact of COVID-19, we see that more and more disposable、uh, items, including the mask and some other disposable items, have been produced, and they also help it in. Treated as waste, in particular the、uh, plastic waste. And here had the statistics. On a yearly basis, is about 12 million plastic waste have been thrown into the sea. And、uh, these statistics means that by the year of 2050, that means in 30 years time, if we calculate the weight of those plastic waste, they will weigh even. The weight will be greater than the total weight of the fishes in the sea. So this is a very alarming fact for us and attract more attention from all of us. And at the same time, we also notice that those plastic waste are not only.、Uh, we also see some other pollutants like the heavy metals and nitrogen and phosphate. All of this has imposed severe challenge and great burden for the ecological systems in the in the sea. So, how shall we work in collaboration? How shall we incorporate the resources and effort from government all over the world and from the non-governmental organizations, and to fight against the pollution in the sea? So that is the focus for today's discussion. And with us, we have、uh, five panelists. Introduce you,、um, the speakers. And now,、um, let's give our warmest welcome to、um, speakers, Miss Lone Kalihook, Chief Operating Officer of the Ocean Cleanup. Welcome to join us. Now, we can see that in the screen, there are already many guests joining us. So, the first one we will introduce. Also, with us, we see the guests from overseas there. Mr. Ken Lau, Chief Operating Officer of the Ocean Cleanup. Hello, Mr. Ken Lau, Chief Operating Officer of the Ocean Cleanup. Hello, Mr. Ken Lau, Chief Operating Officer of the Ocean Cleanup. Hello, Mr. Ken Lau, Chief Operating Officer of the Ocean Cleanup. Hello, Mr. Ken Lau, Chief Operating Officer of the Ocean Cleanup. Hello, Mr. Ken Lau, Chief Operating Officer of the Ocean Cleanup. Hello, Mr. Ken Lau, Chief Operating Officer of the Ocean Cleanup. Hello, Mr. Ken Lau, Chief Operating Officer of the Ocean Cleanup. Hello, Mr. Ken Lau, Chief Operating Officer of the Ocean Cleanup. Hello, Mr. Ken Lau, Chief Operating Officer of the Ocean Cleanup. Hello, Mr. Ken Lau, Chief Operating Officer of the Ocean Cleanup. Hello, Mr. Ken Lau, Chief Operating Officer of the Ocean Cleanup. Hello, Mr. Ken Lau, Chief Operating Officer of the Ocean Cleanup. Hello, Mr. Ken Lau, Chief Operating Officer of the Ocean Cleanup. Hello, Mr. Ken Lau, Chief Operating Officer of the Ocean Cleanup. Hello, Mr. Ken Lau, Chief Operating Officer of the Ocean Cleanup. Hello, Mr. Ken Lau, Chief Operating Officer of the Ocean Cleanup. Hello, Mr. Ken Lau, Chief Operating Officer of the Ocean Cleanup. Hello, Mr. Ken Lau, Chief Operating Officer of the Ocean Cleanup. Hello, Mr. Ken Lau, Chief Operating Officer of the Ocean Cleanup. Hello, Mr. Ken Lau, Chief Operating Officer of the Ocean Cleanup. Hello, Mr. Ken Lau, Chief Operating Officer of the Ocean Cleanup. Hello, Mr. Ken Lau, Chief Operating Officer of the Ocean Cleanup. Hello, Mr. Ken Lau, Chief Operating Officer of the Ocean Cleanup. Hello, Mr. Ken Lau, Chief Operating Officer of the Ocean Cleanup. Hello, Mr. Ken Lau, Chief Operating Officer of the Ocean Cleanup. Hello, Mr. Ken Lau, Chief Operating Officer of the Ocean Cleanup. Hello, Mr. Ken Lau, Chief Operating Officer of the Ocean Cleanup. Hello, Mr. Ken Lau, Chief Operating Officer of the Ocean Cleanup. Hello, Mr. Ken Lau, Chief Operating Officer of the Ocean Cleanup. Hello, Mr. Ken Lau, Chief Operating Officer of the Ocean Cleanup. Hello, Mr. Ken Lau, Chief Operating Officer of the Ocean Cleanup. Hello, Mr. Ken Lau, Chief Operating Officer of the Ocean Cleanup. Hello, Mr. Ken Lau, Chief Operating Officer of the Ocean Cleanup. Hello, Mr. Ken Lau, Chief Operating Officer of the Ocean Cleanup. Hello, Mr. Ken Lau, Chief Operating Officer of the Ocean Cleanup. Hello, Mr. Ken Lau, Chief Operating Officer of the Ocean Cleanup. Hello, Mr. Ken Lau, Chief Operating Officer of the Ocean Cleanup. Hello, Mr. Ken Lau, Chief Operating Officer of the Ocean Cleanup. Hello, Mr. Ken Lau, Chief Operating Officer of the Ocean Cleanup. Hello, Mr. Ken Lau, Chief Operating Officer of the Ocean Cleanup. Hello, Mr. Ken Lau, Chief Operating Officer of the Ocean Cleanup. Hello, Mr. Ken Lau, Chief Operating Officer of the Ocean Cleanup. Hello, Mr. Ken Lau, Chief Operating Officer of the Ocean Cleanup. Hello, Mr. Ken Lau, Chief Operating Officer of the Ocean Cleanup. Hello, Mr. Ken Lau, Chief Operating Officer of the Ocean Cleanup. Hello, Mr. Ken Lau, Chief Operating Officer of the Ocean Cleanup. Hello, Mr. Ken Lau, Chief Operating Officer of the Ocean Cleanup. Hello, Mr. Ken Lau, Chief Operating Officer of the Ocean Cleanup. Hello, Mr. Ken Lau, Chief Operating Officer of the Ocean Cleanup. Hello, Mr. Ken Lau, Chief Operating Officer of the Ocean Cleanup. Hello, Mr. Ken Lau, Chief Operating Officer of the Ocean Cleanup. Hello, Mr. Ken Lau, Chief Operating Officer of the Ocean Cleanup. Hello, Mr. Ken Lau, Chief Operating Officer of the Ocean Cleanup. Hello, Mr. Ken Lau, Chief Operating Officer of the Ocean Cleanup. Hello, Mr. Ken Lau, Chief Operating Officer of the Ocean Cleanup. Hello, Mr. Ken Lau, Chief Operating Officer of the Ocean Cleanup. Hello, Mr. Ken Lau, Chief Operating Officer of the Ocean Cleanup. Hello, Mr. Ken Lau, Chief Operating Officer of the Ocean Cleanup. Hello, Mr. Ken Lau, Chief Operating Officer of the Ocean Cleanup. Hello, Mr. Ken Lau, Chief Operating Officer of the Ocean Cleanup. Hello, Mr. Ken Lau, Chief Operating Officer of the Ocean Cleanup. Hello, Mr. Ken Lau, Chief Operating Officer of the Ocean Cleanup. Hello, Mr. Ken Lau, Chief Operating Officer of the Ocean Cleanup. Hello, Mr. Ken Lau, Chief Operating Officer of the Ocean Cleanup. Hello, Mr. Ken Lau, Chief Operating Officer of the Ocean Cleanup. Hello, Mr. Ken Lau, Chief Operating Officer of the Ocean Cleanup. Hello, Mr. Ken Lau, Chief Operating Officer of the Ocean Cleanup. Hello, Mr. Ken Lau, Chief Operating Officer of the Ocean Cleanup. Hello, Mr. Ken Lau, Chief Operating Officer of the Ocean Cleanup. Hello, Mr. Ken Lau, Chief Operating Officer of the Ocean Cleanup. Hello, Mr. Ken Lau, Chief Operating Officer of the Ocean Cleanup. Hello, Mr. Ken Lau, Chief Operating Officer of the
And we also happy to see that we have the guests from different background, different sectors, and including from the natural resources department. They are the representative of government, and also we have the representative from non-government organizations. So we look forward to listening to your opinions from different perspective, and they can help us to approach the maritime pollution from different perspectives. So firstly, I'd like to give floor to our first speaker. Our first speaker is Mr. Justin Wood and Vice President of Strategic Partnership Alliance to End Plastic Waste Headquarters, Singapore. Can you hear us, Mr. Wood? Yes, I can hear you. Yeah. Um, first, yeah. please say hi to the audience and give us some brief introduction of your organization. Great. Well, thank you very much. It's a great pleasure to be here. Um, the uh, Alliance to End Plastic Waste is a relatively new organization. We were, we were launched in, in 2019. Um, and we were really uh, launched because uh, the leaders of some of the biggest companies in the world recognized that this issue of plastic waste is getting uh, worse and worse. Um, and so they decided that as business leaders, they needed to come together and launch um, a new approach to trying to address um, plastic waste. And so back in 2017, uh, so back in 2019, uh, 17 of these companies came together and they decided that they wanted to build a group of business leaders to uh, come together, raise money and invest into new ideas, new technologies, um, new solutions to addressing plastic waste. So we've been going for about 18 months um, and today we now have 50 member companies and collectively they're aiming to raise one and a half billion dollars to invest around the world into some of the new ideas that are needed in order to get ahead of this uh, plastic waste issue. Um, so you just mentioned that this organization was founded um, in January 2019. So we can see that actually it's quite, still quite young. Um, so what uh, have already been done and do you have any plan um, to reach your goal? Yes, I think that uh, if you look back over those uh, the past 18 months since we uh, started, we have grown the number of companies from, from 17 uh, to 50 today, including companies in China, um, like uh, companies like uh, Sinopec uh, and others. Um, and we have started investing our money into projects around the world. Um, so far, we have invested money into 18 different projects. Um, many of those projects are in um, the uh, less developed economies where the plastic waste problem is the greatest. So we're investing into countries like um, India and Indonesia and the Philippines and Vietnam. And in those countries, we're investing into some of the basics. Uh, these countries often don't have good quality waste collection systems. So we are working with the authorities and other stakeholders in these countries to try to build those missing waste management systems uh, that will prevent plastic waste leaking into the environment and then leaking into uh, the sea. But we're also investing in rich economies uh, in, for example, Europe and North America and Japan. Uh, and in those places, we're investing into uh, more sophisticated ideas because those countries already have good waste collection systems. And so they're collecting the waste, but it's not a circular economy. The waste is still being buried in the ground or it's being burnt uh, to create energy. And what we want to do is to create a circular economy uh, where the plastic can be used again and again. So in those places where the waste collection systems already exist, we're looking at trying to develop new technologies for improving the way that waste is collected and sorted and improving the way that waste, plastic waste is recycled so that we can have 
a more circular economy. Mm -hmm. And actually, at the very beginning, I mentioned that um, like after the COVID-19 pandemic, we can see that um, this situation make it more urgent uh, to deal with the ocean uh, pollution problem. So um, to uh, facing this challenge, what do you think that we need to do to deal with this? I think it's uh, the, this, this COVID-19 situation is quite interesting because um, I think it does have um, a big impact on the way that the world uh, understands this plastic waste issue. Um, I think that it's definitely raised awareness around the world about the importance of plastic in both a good way and sorry, highlighting the positives of plastic, but also uh, the negatives of plastic. I think that um, in a situation like this, um, the world can see very clearly how important plastic is to our economies and to our societies. Plastic is critical for um, health uh, and for the safety of food. There, it's very, very hard to replace plastic as a material because it's light, it's strong, it's flexible, um, it's durable, uh, has many good qualities. But at the same time, we know that when plastic is thrown into the environment, it has very negative uh, uh, qualities. And I think that this coronavirus situation, it's raised awareness of the good parts of plastic, but it's also raised strong awareness about the negative side of plastic. And I think that you know, everywhere you look, you can see that the consumption of plastic, um, certain types of plastic, is rising very strongly this year. 